So what do we have here? Well, I'll say something right off the bat. Sean, just want to say this, com- everything we say thus forward just from a place of uh, love and growth and mentorship. Oh, Charles <laughs> is about to drop the hammer. Uh-oh. I really don't comma. Se- I don't really don't like comma separating um, uh, variable declarations like this. What are your th- I never heard your thoughts on this, Jason. What do you think? Um, I'm not a fan of it. It's it's more of a count thing, right? Like if I've got three flags, I might do it. But this many objects, probably not. Um, Maybe primitive types I could see that are related, like an X, Y. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. That's just my personal. I'm interested too. Oh, wow, it's it, it's it's interesting. I see what's happening here. You have all these serialized fields, and the attribute applies I guess to you all don't of them. Add, yeah, you don't add all of the individual ones. That's Oof. probably, you know. But I don't know. Again, I, I, I it wouldn't call it any. It's like it's not a um uh, a code spawn or anything. Like it's more yeah, of a no, no. It's a it's a preference thing. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say that's probably fine. Um, Although maybe you're suppressing. Well, I guess for me, you're definitely not suppressing because I looked at that and I was like, oh, wow. But maybe you're suppressing a code smell where maybe you have too many serialized field. Maybe that maybe having so many serialized fields is an indication that you could put that into maybe a scriptable object. Well, uh, that's actually a, that is one where you, you beat me to it. That's what I was <laughs> going to say is uh, if you do have that many individual fields like that, uh, I would usually I would realize that there is a, a number of settings or configurations that are relevant and could i divide this up into um domains so stuff to do with the gun stuff to do with the spawning stuff to do with the level stuff and i would then possibly turn those into scriptable objects and then i could move them around and configure them separately um yeah again like we talked about it before but the word is collaborator and that basically means person you're working with and Mm -hmm. imagine you're like a um some sort of a secret organization right you want to keep knowledge to a minimum you want to keep every individual silo working and doing its job and knowing exactly how to do its job and with a system like this, you're sort of, you don't think about it that way, but each one of these things is another piece of information that you're talking to your system. Now, yeah. I know Game Manager is like a big master system. So there's sort of a, um, you're tempted to add a bunch of stuff to manage everything all in one go. But it kind of helps if you if you conceptualize it as, as domains, right? And even, yeah. even without all of this stuff, very clearly, there is level stuff, spawning stuff, and gun stuff. They are three separate things. And this could reference three collaborators Instead of however many there are there, seven hmm. or so, you know? Yeah. Uh, Sparrow wants to know what happens if I change the name of one of them because uh, Ryder will say, oh, do you want to put formally uh, yes. serialized as? I'm it, curious. It yeah. will, it'll, it'll put the serialized as above it, but I think it'll probably automatically split it for you. Let me pick one. Let me pick one in the middle here. Um, let's see. What's the keyword? Is it uh, F6? Nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. That's I'm trying to learn my uh, my shortcuts here. We talked yeah. about this in the last one. Um, so I'm just going to name it. I'm going to rename it air spawner without the underscore. Again, another preference that I've picked up personally because of Ryder. Um, I actually don't serialized fields. I don't put an underscore in front of them because I do view them as separate from private member variables because they are actually exposed in some way. And for that reason, I view underscore the name of the variable in camel case to be reserved for private member variables that are not exposed in any way. So I'll just rename this to follow that. So we'll yeah, that is, that is a good point. I've I've just conceded that's a that's a you know I'm in Unity's house now. I have to play by Unity's rules. <laughs> yeah, so that's like, my compromise. I, yeah. But I mean, if you think about it, private private member variables underscore like they're private. They they are not accessible in any in any shape way shape or form. So that's that's been my sort of, um, yeah. So it looks like it I guess I, I kind of cheat. I, I use it as a two parter, right? Like I'll use a hmm. serialized field, give me access to edit the value, and then I will use an on validate function to treat it like con- combined. They make a single setter property. You know what I mean? Yeah, kind yeah, of a yeah. Weird way of doing it, but it kind of gets around the Unity limitation. Yeah, I got you. I don't like what this did. <laughs> I literally cut it in half, like because I picked one in the middle. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is undo all of this, and I'm going to use Writer to, which is my code editor, just in case no one is familiar with Writer. I'm going to go ahead and split into separate decorations. I'm going to grab all these with uh, my cursor, and then I'm just going to apply some formatting, code style. Uh, I'm going to do Control Alt L to do that, and then for each one, based on what I just said. I'm going to rename these. So, oh, I'm, I don't want to add the, 
I don't like to do the whole previously serialized as thing or formally. Well, obviously, yeah, if you only need that, I don't like, like that. If you're going to change it, what I do if I have to do that is I'll change it so it gives me the formally serialized as. I will then immediately stop editing. I will save it. Yeah. I will go over. I will let it change the reference and I will come back and then I will remove it. So I don't want it living in my code. Because obviously it represents, <laughs> it kind of represents a comment, right? Like it's a yeah. it's an out of date piece of information. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, definitely. A comment as an attribute, totally. It feels weird. Well, it looks like Ryder is not letting me make the choice. I guess it saves my previous choice. So screw it. We're just going to leave it. Yeah.